Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. You were a little ticked off that it took six months for the government to draft a second stimulus bill. And when they did, it was 5,000 pages giving billions of dollars to foreign aid when it only gave the American people $600 each. Yeah, yeah, I'm pissed off too. But what is the one thing that I could buy with my stimulus check that would make me very, very happy and you guys happy too? Yeah, you guessed it. An XJ, a stimulus XJ. Yeah. All right, guys, here it is, my Stimulus XJ. Yes, this is what I bought with my stimulus check. I did not spend my whole stimulus check on it because, as you can see, it's only for sale for $500. So it got me a $500 Jeep. It got me two tanks of gas, a cup of coffee, a Red Bull, and... Uh, two Wendy's Baconators, and I think $1.83 left over. So, this is it, there we go. $500, neatly spelled out in electrical tape. Spare no expense for these excellent XJs. And look at this, this isn't your ordinary XJ, this is a police model XJ. Ugh. How you doing? Uh, Are you all right? Yeah. Are you okay? Just sit back. You all right? I think so. Are you sure? Because you just went through a wall. And this isn't going to be a restoration, guys. This is going to be a parts car because I have another project brewing. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you will see that I have brought home my brother's XJ. Uh, he had to move to Florida, and I acquired his XJ. Well, my father and I acquired his XJ. I just need some... Reset. Okay, reset. Yeah, hold okay. it. Have to go far. I know. Okay, reset. Yeah. It does not run. I'm going to restore it. And that's what this is for. This is going to be a part scar to re restore my brother's police model XJ. We're going to restore that to its original condition. And uh, we're going to use this baby as part. So let's take a look at this thing before we uh, dismantle it. It's already kind of been dismantled. <laughs> Doesn't even have its original tailgate, but it's all right. We got uh, we got a replacement tailgate and some duct tape. So here we go, guys. This is it. It is filthy. It has been semi-parted out. It uh, it doesn't even have its engine, but that's okay. Uh, we don't need an engine right now. We just need some police specific items such as the 120 mile speedometer yes i know my brothers should have a 120 speedometer but i put that in uh in black beauty 120 miles per hour and certified this is a police cherokee speedo i got it from a salvage cherokee that i rebuilt and gave to my brother and i took the speedo sorry i cannibalized it before i rebuilt it and gave it to my brother but yeah so Police model XJ, parts car. All right, uh, where do we start? Let's start under the hood, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what's going on under here. Hood latch still works, so that's good. And here we go. There we go. All right, here we go, starting from the front. This is a 1998. Police model XJ. We got this from Easton, Pennsylvania. My buddy Andy and I left at a moment's notice in the middle of the night on a Sunday, and we drove to Pennsylvania in the Commander and scooped this baby up. And here we go. This is what's left of it. Uh, well, you know what? I'll give you a how to identify a police model XJ video when my brother's police model XJ is finished, but uh. Here's a clue. This is a trans cooler. Police model XJs had trans coolers. Uh, this one, I think, was completely wired to go. Light sirens, flashing strobes, everything. You could see here, this had the extra wire harness and all these extra doodads and gizmos. This is uh, police wiring. So that is that. Nothing left to identify it by the police. Uh, package under the hood um, ABS all police models I believe had ABS so that's not a dead giveaway but that helps this is more of a dead giveaway than anything else the trans cooler but uh, the front is in great shape great front bumper I don't know what this is 
this is pretty sweet actually it's a, a cast aluminum um, Cherokee symbol it's just bolted into the front bumper I've never seen that before I don't know if that's aftermarket uh, let me know if you guys have ever seen something like that before pretty nifty so here we go here is another way to identify a police model XJ um, here are the budget wheels I think the official name for these ugly factory wheels they are the economy twos I think that's what they're called and uh, all police models had the economy two wheels pretty pretty gross but yeah um, police models also didn't have their uh, what you call it the door molding did not have the door molding so that's a good way to identify a police model again um, not all of them had roll-up windows, but a lot of them did. My brother's has electric windows, so it's not a dead giveaway. Um, here is another little giveaway. This is the shotgun rack release. Usually there was a shotgun rack on the passenger seat or right in the back center. Shotgun rack. This one has been dismantled. Here we go. The police dome light. There's a dead giveaway. Another police identification is the certified speedometer that goes up to 120. You will not find a police model without the 120 gauge. So, dead giveaway, looking good. Uh, also, the police model has these tweed looking seats, but these are not cloth, these are vinyl. You can tell they're ripped like vinyl. It's very deceiving, and pictures you can't tell but it's vinyl. So, you know what? This is probably gonna be a how to identify a police model extra video after all. But uh, this is very ugly. <laughs> this is very disgusting. Um, oh, here we go. Here's another dead giveaway. It's got the perp mats, you know, for the blood and the puke and the mud. This is all, uh, this is all rubber. This is not carpet. So, yeah, that's a good way to identify a police model. Yeah. Got uh, got manual seats in this bad boy. I haven't seen a police model so far with electric seats, but uh, I could be I could be surprised one day to find that. Uh, let's see. In the back, um, not all police models. Some had cages, you know, the perp locker, and uh, some were canine models. So some have uh, canine cages in the back. But that's that. Going around here. More ugly economy. Two wheels. Da -da -da -da. Here we go. Here is a great police model identifier. No rivets. Uh, no riv nuts. Riv certs? I don't know. They don't have roof rails. So this is a 1998. Uh, the roof rails should have extended up to here and this year. And again, there are none. I do believe that the 99 to 01 police models, uh, the roof rails stop here. So they did leave the roof rails on those, but they didn't have crossbars. But again, if you see an XJ that has absolutely no, uh, no rib nuts in here, then that would be a police model. And here we go, here's a dead giveaway. You got your antenna hole right there. Da da da. Yeah. A nice antenna screws onto that. And man, this is filthy. Holy crap. This hasn't been washed probably since its last servicing in the police department, wherever the heck it was employed. And here we go. Here's a dead giveaway. This is your light bar wiring completely severed off. So there's some wiring up underneath that header panel. What do you mean header panel? Uh, headliner, yeah. There would be some wiring up in there. But let's see. That's about it. Oh yeah, uh, police model XJs also had nine inch rear drum brakes. It's hard to tell, but they have those little fins in there. Uh, yeah, hard to tell. The fins are the dead giveaway for the different drum brakes. Let's see. Um, police models also had bigger alternators in the older models. I think they're all the same in the 97 to 01 XJs. 
I think they're all the 120 amp alternators. Nothing too special in that department. But here we go. One of the coolest police model features is the extended idle button. Yeah. Now what this does, you push this thing in and it grounds the 12 pin on the PCM. It's a gray connector. All it does is send a simple ground signal to the PCM. And what it does is it ramps up the idle from 800 RPMs to 1,000 RPMs. What that does is it lets the juices flow in the engine. It kicks up the, uh, the belt, which spins the water pump, which drives more coolant through the engine, keeps it a little cooler. It also ramps up the alternator, keeps it powered up for the, uh, the computer and the lights and all the other stuff that police things use. So yeah, extended idle button is really cool. You could add that to any XJ, actually. All you need to do is put in a switch and hook it up to a relay, which sends a ground signal instead of a power signal, and any XJ could put an extended idle on it. So yeah, that's it so far. Let's, uh, let's look in the back here and let's see if we could uh, recover some more parts. Um, unfortunately, they, uh, they were quite the savage and they, uh, geez, it looks like they chopped this thing up with, I would have to say, a cutoff wheel because it's melted over here. Yep. Oh, how sad. It's really not hard to remove this. <laughs> Garbage. Here we go. Garbage. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's another good identifier to police models. Uh, random holes for, for uh, microphone hookups and all that other nonsense. You got the radio mics you know they just drill holes in random parts of the interior to mount that let's see here we go some bumper ends oh, unfortunately previous owner who had this after the police service painted these yeah they're pretty crappy garbage unless you guys want it <laughs> uh some cardboard I don't need anything in here. Man, unveiling of a new XJ. I'm very excited. <laughs> what are the chances this radiator fan shroud is uh, intact, slim to none? <laughs> They're always broken. I cannot find one that's not broken. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's a good radiator support. Well, that looks pretty straight. Definitely add that to the parts collection battery tray a little broken not too bad these holes aren't blown out so could be reused I don't know let me know if you want a battery tray <laughs> what's this what is this a uh, power steering line probably yeah um, a battery tray yeah this is a battery tray nut how do I know I just know <laughs> I just know guys this is the battery tray part file, I guess. Here's that temp sensor. Da, da, da. And here we go. Here's a good look at the rubber mat. Police model rubber mat. Very cool. Let's see what's in here. All right. We got ABS sensors in there. Again, it's not a dead giveaway, but police models had ABS sensors. So do that. And here we go. More of that. Fake tweed of vinyl stuff. Go ahead and fold this down. Let's see what's back here. Oh man. This is a cool seat, you know. Hopefully I can fix this. A couple tears. Not too bad. I think I'll restore these back seats. They're pretty cool. Restore them, sell them. Don't really need them, but if you guys want them, they're here. Help me come around. Oh, this needs a hatch, so we can store it out of the weather. There we go. Let's take a look at this. Oh, come on, header panel. Oh, yeah. Hey, not bad. The header panel is one piece. Nice. I thought for sure it'd be bashed. I mean, the grill's another story. But, uh... 
Uh, one tab broken in the headlight bezel. No biggie. As long as, ah, oh, they did it. They did it. They ripped the header panel right off. They didn't unscrew it. What a shame. Gonna have to fiberglass that. Oh, that's a terrible shame because these studs are still in there. Let's take a look. I bet they're still in there. Oh, Bush League, guys. That is just lazy. Come on. There's another bolt in there. Just take off the headlights, please. Header panels are getting harder to find. Dang it. Oh, well. We'll, uh, we'll clean this up. We could use that in one of the projects. No biggie, no biggie. No biggity, no bout. Or something like that. Uh, going around. Oh, you know what? Ah, nothing good. Gas receipt. All right, back to business. <laughs> Rear bumper end. Oh man, that's filthy. Oh, sorry seats. Gross. Ah. Oh. Dang it, these tabs ripped off. All right, guys. All right, guys. Look, let me address something real quick. Okay, XJ, guys. Let me tell you how to remove a rear bumper end. All right, bumper end is on. It's got these little tabs, right? Now, please, don't just rip them off. Just go underneath. Unscrew that seven millimeter little screw that's in this hole and once that's out They slide just like that and you don't have to destroy it So that's that and What else is in here a donut air filter and Some exhaust Hmm O2 sensor Nothing special. Oh huh? We got another uh, police model mat down here, and it looks like we got a weather tech mat up here. All right, guys, I threw all this stuff back in, but of course, I had to go ahead and put the header panel back on because I like complete Jeeps. <laughs> I don't know, but look, uh, they got to the lights. They cut out the sirens and the lights, unfortunately. That is probably why the grill is busted. But we're gonna go underneath the Jeep for the last ways to identify a police model XJ. And now unfortunately I can't show you because they have been removed, but police model XJs have three skid plates. They have the front skid plate, the trans skid plate, and a gas tank skid plate. These have been removed, unfortunately, but there is one more way to identify police model xj and that is with the rear end police model xjs have the dana 35 of course because it has abs abs comes with dana 35s i don't know why they didn't use a chrysler eight and a quarter with abs but that's just the way they did it so this should be a dana 35 with posi traction that's right police models have a posi rear um unfortunately i cannot show you that either because uh, I don't have my jack with me. Can't jack it up and spin the wheels. Of course, they would both spin the same direction. And uh, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna look at that today because I'm at my buddy Andy's house. We, uh, we delivered the XJ to Andy's house because if I brought one more XJ on my property, my wife would kill me. So <laughs> that's why we are on location, not at the Project Dan home base. But there it is, guys. There we have it, police model XJ, $500. That's it, parts car, oh yeah. All right guys, that is a wrap for my stimulus XJ video. That's it, it's just a parts car, and again, we're over at Andy's house. I couldn't bring it to my house because I'd be sleeping in it if I brought it back to my house. Yep, so I get to sleep in my bed, not on the couch or on the next day tonight. We're going to keep this here. And uh, I will visit my brother's police model XJ. We'll do a restoration. 
in a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to show you everything on that. I think I'll just restore it and then give a walk around and then maybe sell it. So uh, that's that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it, as always. So remember to like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next project. Peace.